up, you guys? I am so excited today to introduce you someone I think I know, but I really don't. I've just been stalking her on Facebook. <laughs> and when I heard she was coming home, I was super, super excited. We're talking about Tisha Powell. She is back home and she's with uh, Channel 9. She is doing some amazing things on the 4 and 5. Hello. Welcome home. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. I can't help but to be excited with your excitement. I can just feed off that. <laughs> it's so well, nice look, to meet you, Doctor. No, nice to meet you and welcome to the Cumulus family, particularly Max 94.1. We're so glad you're back home. How are you? How does it feel being back in the boot? Surreal. It really is because we left a long time ago. My husband's in the army and um, we went to his first duty station in San Antonio, Texas. We left New Orleans and we were just living life and, and they would send him to different places. They sent him to Baghdad. They, you know, sent him to Hawaii. Some of the places I went to, some of them I stayed back, but um, we always knew we would come home, but we didn't know when. And we were trying to find that opportunity and we've, we've seized the moment. So yeah. we're here now. The whole family is here, finally. Well, speaking of your family, I'm a, uh, I'm a military vet, so I just want to say thank you and your husband for your service, because truly when thank he served, the whole family served. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we, of um, oh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no, go ahead. I'm just super excited. Go ahead. It's all you. You know what? I will let you ask the question so I can tell you what you want to know. Otherwise, I will just go on and on. Well, first of all, speaking of service, uh, you know, your, your, your bio and your background and your, your service to community is impeccable. Uh, what are some of the things that you see yourself doing since you're back home? And I know there are many things that you do. One thing in particular, I love that you jumped out of an airplane. Oh, I'm so <laughs> a fan of that. I want to do that one day. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, I know you love community. So what are some of the things that we can look forward to see you doing here in the community? You know, I enjoyed a lot of the things that I did in North Carolina, and I'm going to try to do similar things. It's hard to duplicate those things. Like I was really big with the USO, mm -hmm. um, but it's not as active here in yeah. this area. Mm -hmm. So I will focus probably more on other things. Um, I worked with the American Heart Association and my mother, she passed away of congestive heart failure a couple of years ago. So I've always been big on making sure that people know their numbers mm -hmm. um, and just overall good heart health. Sure. Um, I also love working with children. Um, I did a lot of volunteer work through um, the Lynx mm -hmm. organization. Um, so I'm just going to see, see how I fit in to, yeah. to this community and see where I can make the biggest difference and the biggest well, impact. I'm a lifetime member of the Girl Scouts. Yeah. You know, so if you want some cookies. I will probably have some cookies. <laughs> I have a seven-year-old who is just starting to be a brownie Girl Scout. Um, but I also want to just get involved with maybe our local universities as well. Yeah. I, I worked with uh, St. Augustine's University in North Carolina, and um, I hope to maybe do something with Southern or LSU. So we'll see. It, it's there's there's lots of opportunities. Yeah, there really are. And we're so glad to have you back home. And, you know, we, you know, love Channel 9. We love WAFB. And so it's a joy to welcome you into our homes, you know, on the four and five o'clock news. But we know that people are going to see you every day and they're going to love you as I do already. So I just yeah. have like five questions since I'm a super fan and everybody else okay. want to know really okay. five cool questions to ask you. And we All can right. do this really rapidly. Number one, what's your right. favorite color? You know, it's usually burgundy, like a, like a wine. Um, but I would say right now it's burgundy or green. Okay, I think it's yellow, but okay. So <laughs> yellow's good, I like yellow. Now, because I look good in it doesn't mean it's necessarily my favorite color, but you know, I, I have been wearing a, a lot of yellow lately and a lot of green. Well, we think you look good in yellow, I'm just saying. Thank favorite you. food. My favorite food, let's see. I like grilled fish, like a blackened fish. And I've come to the right place because everybody sells it with heavy cream sauce on it with like crab meat and crawfish and shrimp on top. That's what I'm going to order. If I go to a <laughs> restaurant and there is like a, a snapper, a sea bass, um, a trout, catfish, anything grilled or fried with some sort of heavy cream sauce on top of it, that's what I'm ordering. 
Okay, and I'll try so to get I'm a Oh, no, that's pretty cool. So what I'll do, I'll grill some fish and I'll watch you tonight on the five. How about that? Okay, okay. I'll live like very <laughs> for you. Yes, okay. Your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is, I know this is probably going to sound really, really strange, but I like organizing things. Like I feel good when I can look at my closet and everything's in order and I look in my cabinets and things are in order. I know that may sound like someone who is suffering from some sort of disorder, but right now I'm surrounded by boxes. So <laughs> my free time is unpacking those boxes and just getting things set up, yeah. you know, and just organizing. I like organizing, yes. but for fun, for fun, I like I like exercising. I like watching movies, um, reality TV. <laughs> you know, my husband hates when I put that on, but it's just, I, you know, I like to relax that way. That's good. And I do too. I, I really do. And I was going to ask you what your guilty pleasure is. And when people reality ask me what mine TV. is, I'm like reality TV, you know? So yeah. And then I guess the last question is, what is one of your favorite quotes? So what drives your passion? What drives my passion? Um, giving back, um, just really being there for, for the community, for, for children to see what is possible. Just, I think you, you can really understand people better when you're out in the community and you're around them and, and yeah. you're listening to stories and, and they can also tell you, you know, whether or not you're doing a good job, you know, and, and for some reason, I've always needed that validation just to, to hear from people, just to know, you know, that, that they're watching, that maybe they want us to cover more of this, or maybe, you know, there's other ways that the station can be helpful or just journalists can be helpful in general in giving back to the community. But that's just always been, been my thing is yeah. just figuring out, um, how to help people. I can remember one of my good friends called and said, you know, the students at the school, they don't have desk at home. They're all doing virtual learning now and they don't have desk and just figuring out, okay, what can we do? How can we help? Those sorts of things, you know, and just, and just really getting in and, and being available and, and being present. Yes. Well, look, we want to tell you that we appreciate you. Welcome home. We Thank welcome you. you into our living rooms and in our homes. And I can validate you every day. So what I'm going to do is because I'm already, you know, I'm following you on Instagram already. So guys, look, you definitely want to check her out at four, uh, four and five. She is doing amazing work. We really appreciate you. And we look forward to you being a part of this community. And we want to be able to serve you as well. So how can we follow you and find out what you're doing and kind of get an inside of more of who you are? You know, I've been doing sort of like the transitioning from North Carolina back home to Louisiana on my social media. Um, I showed the room full of boxes. Then I showed the room that was finally organized and I took <laughs> things away. So, um, but you can follow me on Twitter at Miss T. Chappelle. That's M-S-T-I-S-H-A-P-O-W-E-L-L, -L, shameless plug, or at T. Chappelle on Instagram or T. Chappelle on Facebook. Yes. And you already know we're going to definitely be seeing you on the four and five Monday through Friday. And look, we just appreciate you. Welcome home. Thank if you. If there's so much. anything that we need, if we need to bring you fish, whatever it is that you need, we got you. Thank you so much for being a part of uh, our Cumulus family. And uh, we look forward to many, many more years of seeing you and just being a service to you. Thank you so much. And one thing I forgot to mention, I... Another guilty pleasure of mine is that caramel popcorn with the cheese, with the cheese corn mixed together. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. That's some good stuff. I know. Isn't that combination pretty interesting? I'm going to try very to very well, but I'm, a, I'm a hooked. Are the Cheez-Its with the caramel corn in it? If you haven't tried that on the duos, try that. That's good stuff. All right, guys. Well, now you know, guys, if y'all want to, you know, give her a welcome home present. Way to my know. heart. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peter. We appreciate Thank you. Thank you. So good meeting you.